Head over to miniaturemarket.com for thousands of board games at discounted prices like dubious. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today, I'm going to be giving you some dubious clues about who I am and what my secret is. Am I an animal trainer? Or am I a detective? Or am I a movie producer? Do, uh, do, am I allergic to animals? Do I uh, have hallucinations? Do All these weird things. You're trying to find out other people's character and secret. You're trying to give that away, but not too obvious, so you get zero points. Let me show you this sort of storytelling deduction party game from Arcane Wonders, Dubious. In Dubious, you're going to get two characters secretly, and you're going to get two secrets. You're going to select one of each. So I can either be an animal trainer or an electrician, or you could have hallucinations, or post cute videos. So maybe you are an animal trainer that posts cute videos. These you'll discard face down, but you'll know that no one else is going to be the electrician, and no one else is going to have hallucinations. Now this is important because everyone gets one of these player aids. This actually gets sort of clipped to a shield that will keep things secret from other players. And this shows you all the different occupations. This is the modern deck. I'll show you some of the other ones uh, in a little bit. The game has a lot of replayability in it. So here I am the animal trainer. And again, I have who, who uh, the, I'm doing the, the, the cute videos. Okay. And it tells you the number, number six. So we are trying to figure out what occupation and secrets all the other players have. We're also trying to get as many people as possible to guess ours, but you don't want them all to guess because you're going to get a point for every person that guesses that you're the animal trainer. You're also going to get a point for every person that, that guesses that you po post cute videos. However, if everybody says you're an animal trainer and or everyone says you're cute videos, for each of these sections, you'd get zero points. So you want almost, the best case scenario is to have everyone else except one person guess your occupation and secrets because you're going to score for both of these separately. So the game lasts five rounds long. Each round there's going to be a question. Two of them are going to be about your appearance, and the other ones are going to be uh, more, more general questions. They're going to be about uh, you know, general things. So the first one is going to be from uh, your appearance. It's going to say, what are you wearing? Then, so everyone, starting one player going clockwise, is going to say like a sentence or two. It's better if you get in character. Uh, you don't have to, but the game is more fun if people are getting in character. So you would say, what are you wearing? Now everyone has one of these sheets behind their shield, and there's going to be five questions. So for each question, you're going to write your sentence or two out here, uh, and then you're going to read it to everybody in character. Now everybody else is going to be, you're going to have the names of all the other players here, and again, you're trying to guess their character and their secrets. So as other players are saying what they, uh, you know, what they look like, or there's something about their appearance there, you're going to be sort of making notes here, maybe little one-word notes, maybe you're, you're writing down which numbers you think it is or isn't for sure, making sort of little notes here for questions one, two, three, four, five for all the other players. So you're going to be writing your sentences and reading it back, and you're going to be trying to guess them at the end of the game, of course, and they're going to be trying to guess you. So if you say, what are you wearing? You might say, well, I, I'm wearing some uh, protective gear today, right? And so some people might think, well, maybe they're a construction worker. Maybe they're a detective. Maybe they're you know, a paramedic. You don't know, but you're actually an animal trainer because sometimes animals can bite. So you're giving them stuff. Again, you want to start a little bit vague and then slowly get people to kind of get who you are, but you don't want to give it away all the way. Once everyone's done that and they've read it all and you've made your notes, you'll go to the next question. Next one might be something like, what do you have with you? Then everyone does the same thing. And the next question about parents, what footwear do you have on? What is your favorite game? And this one is, your boss's calling requires your presence in 15 minutes. What do you do? So different little things like that that are specific. Uh, and then once everyone's done, you'll go through and each player will read their five sentences again. That really gives you like one big encapsulation. They, they, they read all five right in a row. You're making your last notes on people. You're trying to tell, you know, figure out on your notes what numbers they might be. And then you're finally guessing what they are for their character and their secret. If you get it right, you'll color this in. Then you're gonna, you know, when other people guess yours, you're gonna be getting a certain amount of points. If no one guesses it, you get zero. If everyone guesses it, you get zero. Otherwise, you get it. So like here, I got three people to guess me here. I got three people to guess me here. And I guess these two here. So you add up all your points. Whoever has the most points is the winner. Now, we were just showing you the modern deck. There's also a Victorian England deck. Mailman, tailor, admiral, baker, capitalist, poet, mechanic, constable, newsboy, private investigator, coachman, chemist, magician, explorer, 
And here's all their secrets. Counterfeiter, absent-minded, kleptomaniac, has an exotic illness, cheats on their partner, hides their noble birth, all these different things, has pet snakes, and there is a fantasy one. Executioner, bard, guard, war mage, dragon rider, herald, stableman, inquisitor, dru uh, druid, innkeeper, blacksmith, berserker, rogue, necromancer. And you might be a found in a genie's lamp, or hunt werewolves, or purchase a curved sword, or kill a tax collector. All these different things. So there's a lot of replayability with the three different decks. You play with one deck per game. And that's pretty much how you play. And there's a, there is a large variety of question cards as well. All right, now before I get to my final thoughts, I wanna let you know that if you like my content, there's now ways to get bonus content like first impression videos well before a review will come out or for many games I don't even end up reviewing. You can even vote for which games get reviewed on the channel. You can also see me opening up packages and getting content earlier than everyone else. And now you can see what you're missing with a free seven day trial at patreon.com slash gameboygeek. One of my favorite TV shows, and I very rarely watch TV, is Whose Line Is It Anyway? I used to watch it when I was a kid. And one of the games on there was like, they, you were giving clues to somebody about who you are, and usually you want to give a vague one, then a little better one, and then a really good one so they get it at the end. This one is sort of that same thing, and I like that. I've always liked that in that game, and it works well here. I like that you're selecting a character and a secret. So you get two of each. The first time I played this game, I had animal trainer and something else, and allergic to animals and something else, and I'm like, how could I not go with an animal trainer that's allergic to animals? That's just hilarious. It was a fun one to play with, but I like that you get, you don't just get one, you're like, oh, I'm stuck with this stupid one, I don't know what to do with it. You get to choose. So you're already like involved, you're already engaged, you're already invested into who you are, getting into character. I like it. I also like that the two that you don't pick you know from deduction can't be anyone else's. So you can cross out those numbers for the character in the secret, gives you a little information up front. I like that as well. I like that you're trying to give clues that aren't too vague, but they're not too obvious. Maybe early in the game, as you saw in my overview, you maybe start a little vague. A thing that could mean maybe one of four or five different things on one of the sides, right? And then as the questions come on, maybe the second one you do the same thing, but for the secret. And then you kind of like try to narrow it down so that you kind of triangulate to who you are a little easier and a little easier because you don't want to be too obvious because you are, you get zero points. You don't want to be too vague because if nobody guesses, you get zero points. So you're trying to get everyone but one to guess your stuff, but you don't want to be too obvious too early, right? I like that you're trying to read the room. So you're, you're answering your sentences and you're watching everybody. You'll hear remarks. You'll hear people like, oh, yeah, I, I, know what he's I know what he's talking about. I think I got it here. You'll see some people be like, and they'll actually might even say it, like, I have no clue what the hell he's talking about. So, like, you got to read the room after you say your sentence to know how much more obvious to try to get with your clues as the game goes on. Because, again, the best, the best thing is for everyone but one player to guess your thing and you to guess everybody's, right? You do that, you're probably going to win. So I like that. Read the room. Read people's reactions. Read how hard they're thinking after you say it or not how quick people are writing it down or not, and that will give you clues as to how obvious you should be on your future things. Some strategy there, right? It's a party game, but there's some strategy. The scoring works great. You're trying to get all but one person to guess. And the cool thing about that is, if you're playing with a game with a decent amount of people, usually at least one person isn't gonna be quite picking up what you're putting down, right? And not to say that, that person's stupid, but not everybody thinks the same way, right? And so you might, often you will see where everyone guesses someone, someone goes, I can't believe I missed that. You're right, that totally made sense. But guess what? That person gets a lot of points and it feels good, right? It's a party game, it feels good, right? But you still gotta guess other people's to win, right? Um, I like that you can read your sentences in character or not. And I've played this both ways. I played it with a group at Origins, the Secret Cabal guys and such, so we had a blast. They all did it in character. Berkey from Board Game Theater, oh my gosh, you wanna have fun? Play this game with him. He was so in character, making everyone laugh. It's a ton of fun if you get in character, but not all people are going to want to do it. You don't have to. You could just read it straight off and be fine with it. So I like that you can ham it up a bit and have even more fun or not. You, for people that don't want to do that, you're not forced to. And the game is still interesting if you don't do that. I like the three different sets, Modern, Fantasy, Victorian, England. Gives you lots of replayability there as well. On the negative side of things, this is considered a creative party game. And there's just some people that do not like creative style party games. The way that you have to come up with certain clues, you gotta be very creative. There's a lot of these types of party games up there. I tend to love creative party games, but I know a lot of people that do not. So if you don't like creative style party games, this one's not gonna be for you, but it might be fun for you to watch other people play it. This, much like many of these creative party games, you need to have the right group really to enjoy this one. 
Um, on the other negative things, the notebook, the note sheet's great. You, got, you have a lot of room for you to write your sentence or two. I never needed all of that. I wish they would have taken some of that real estate on the sheet, giving me more space to write about the other people. Cause I really kind of want, I want to write their whole sentence down or two. Cause I really want to be able to like extrapolate what they're doing and reading things. I, I want to be able to go back as opposed to just putting like one word notes, one or two word notes. I wish there was more room for me to write what the other players did. I guess I could just take another sheet and just do that. But I, w yeah, I feel like the, the real estate was a little mismanaged there, negative but it's, it's a nitpick here. I think from watching this, you should know if this is gonna be for you and your group. If you like creative, fun, laughy style party games, that has a bit of a deduction, uh, you, can, you can get into character and have fun, you should know if this game's gonna be for you or not. Uh, I have groups that I will play this with all the time and it will go over great, and I have groups that I know I just will not play this with. That's, that's what this game pretty much offers. But if you like that, you want to lean into the character writing and the, and the thing, and you like a little bit of deduction there, I think this is going to be one to check out, and that is dubious. Game Toppers not only transforms your existing table into a high quality gaming solution, but they now offer full leg kits and dining cover solutions for the full table application. Paired with over 20 styles of thematic game mats in 11 different sizes from notable board game artists like Vincent Dutre, collapsible cup holders, and real cool accessories, experience what thousands of other gamers enjoy by upgrading every game you play with a Game Topper system. Save hundreds of dollars on Game Topper package deals that are in stock now for immediate shipping at GameToppersLLC.com or click the link below.